Hey there, everybody. Back out at the barn. It's uh, family day weekend, or the start of family day weekend. And I uh, haven't had a sauna in a bit. I think it's perfect timing for a sauna, even though it's minus 20, feels like minus 27. You can hear the snow is crunchy here in Muskoka this morning. This is family day weekend, so hoogie, hagi, however you pronounce this, we're... Uh, we're gonna have a wicked little sauna. Wood stocked, we're good here. I'll uh, get inside, show you the wood stove, the Harvia Pro, and uh, get a nice little sauna going here. Okay, so hi there everybody. This is uh, the Harvia 20 Pro wood-fired sauna stove from Harvia. Uh, we uh, built this sauna in the fall uh, before winter and uh, currently it's February in Muskoka, Canada, Ontario, Canada. Today it's minus 20, feels like minus 25. So I'm going to uh, just give a demonstration of the stove. I'm going to get the stove uh, fired up, show you how you start it. It's been a good little stove. Uh, you can see it has uh, comes with all the uh, rocks. This is a Finnish stove, so it can, can uh, manufactured in Finland. The ashtray down below, the little box. And uh, yeah, it drafts really well and uh, heats up fairly quickly. So I just want to show you this stove and uh, get a fire going in here. Okay, so I just generally use a newspaper or paper bags, whatever we have available Kindling. We generally have lots of scrap wood and uh, little bits of kindling around here out at the farm, so never a shortage of anything to start a fire with. So we'll let that uh, get started, taken off here, then we'll add some other pieces. Uh, just to note, this is uh, a base kit uh, that you can buy. It's an extra, uh, extra cost, but uh, because we weren't building a stone hearth or anything, we wanted the, uh, the base. I also bought a wraparound but ended up I didn't need it because of clearances because we're uh, much farther away from the wall, the back wall than we need to be and we're not uh, close enough to the uh, benches which are uh, clearly combustible we didn't need the wraparound protection so uh, no real point of installing that So we always tend to have little scraps, bits and pieces that we collect around here. Uh, so I'll get this going with uh, uh, some pine boards here, scraps, 
Uh, probably some cedar in here as well. That's what we have kicking around. And then after this, it usually starts taking off really good. I'll uh, start feeding it with small pieces of harder wood, bush wood, that we've split. And uh, that'll get it really heated up in here fairly quickly. So that's it. Not a whole lot to it. Uh, it's been a great little stove, uh, Harvia. Check out a Harvia website. They, they've got tons of stoves. Uh, this is one of the smaller models and one of the, I think, cheapest mod models. This one was about $800 Canadian. Uh, but it's all we need for the space of, uh, of our sauna. So I'll let that get going and get heated up. Close the door. Maybe give me an update later on how this is heating up. As I said, it's minus 20. Not sure if you can see my breath here. My breath, it's minus, uh, minus 20 here in Muskoka. So this sauna is going to be a beauty on this family day weekend. Uh, the stove also comes with this little kind of handle piece. It's not, uh, it's not for ashes. Uh, or it's not a fire poker. It's actually for the door because this this gets pretty hot and uh, After after you're in here for a while the handle really does get hot as well So you can use it Just as a handle kind of grabber. That's all that really is Anyways, there it is, Harvia 20 Pro model. It's been working fantastic for us here at the barn. Beautiful little sauna stove. It just looks great too with the, uh, the stainless steel, kind of a chrome look to it. Uh, just a nice looking stove. Okay, thanks everybody. Take care, have a great family day weekend. So this is uh, also what happens uh, when you leave water in the sauna bucket with the ladle in it uh, in the middle of winter in Muskoka, Canada. Uh, you're, you're left with uh, an ice cube here. So let's take that inside, get <laughs> some fresh water, get this thing rocking and rolling, and. Uh, Hopefully have a great sun on this minus 20 day. This is going to be awesome. So, been about uh, 12, 15 minutes, something like that at this point. And uh, we're moving right along. Getting past 100 Fahrenheit. Usually around 160, 180 Fahrenheit is good for the sauna here. So, keep on trucking. And... Uh, Maybe another 15 minutes or so. Something like that. We'll be ready. Get in here, get some clothes off, and get sweating in the sauna. Well, we're still rocking and rolling here. It's about 12 minutes later. 
And uh, yeah, it's getting steamy in here. Where are we at? A little past 160 Fahrenheit. So we're getting closer here. Uh, I'm gonna stock this up a couple more pieces of hardwood. I'm gonna go inside and uh, strip down and uh, run through the cold. Get in here and enjoy a perfect sauna, minus 20 degree day. Beauty, it doesn't get any better than this. Family day weekend. Back in here, just about 180 Fahrenheit. Let's add a little, a little more steam in here. Okay, I'm gonna sweat it out in here, folks. Thanks for watching. Happy sauna building to those of you that uh, watch some of my sauna journey of building this particular sauna. And uh, just want to reiterate: I'm not a builder, I'm not a sauna builder. Never done this in my life. So, lots of people like to point out things that I did wrong, and I don't really care. Uh, I'm fine with that. The sauna works magnificently. It does what I intended it to be. I had a lot of fun learning. Yes, I made mistakes. That's how you learn, folks. So if you want to be, uh, you know, rude with your comments, you're all sauna building experts. Just keep it to yourself. Go on to another channel. This is about having fun, being positive, enjoying a sauna that I built with, with my hands and just enjoying something in life anyways thanks for all of you that have posted lots of positive comments as well i really appreciate it and hope you keep watching so take care everybody happy family day weekend well it's about 10 minutes into my sauna and we're now at about 200 fahrenheit not stocking haven't done any more stocking of wood just let what we have in there burn away and uh, yeah, this thing rocks and rolls. Uh, it keeps its heat and uh, uh, as you know, this thing's fully insulated, top, sides, bottom. So we could just let this stove uh, and the wood burn out and uh, you know, just, just keep it going in here. It would stay really hot in here so many people could have saunas and different stages and batches I suppose be because of that so this thing holds the heat really 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 well <laughs>